The Super Bowl is one of the most watched sporting events of the year. It draws more than 100 million viewers, with the halftime show a major feature of the broadcast. From nip slips to runaway boulders, let's take a look at some of the most controversial Super Bowl halftime performances over the years. Our first infamous moment dates back to 1989 at Super Bowl 23, with the amazing Elvis Presto who put on a chaotic magic performance that would leave even the king of rock and roll all shook up. Now let's fast forward to 2011, when the Black Eyed Peas couldn't get it started at Super Bowl 45, with Fergie's attempt of Sweet Child of Mine leaving viewers scratching heads and blocking their ears. In 1995, we had Ace Ventura prowling Miami to find the Dolphins' elusive snowflake. Meanwhile, back at Hard Rock Stadium, fans had to endure Disney's straight-up commercial for their new Indiana Jones ride at Super Bowl 29. Alrighty then. Super Bowl 38 truly lived up to Nipplegate notoriety in 2004 when Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson stopped the nation by exposing viewers to brief on-air nudity, which is still spoken about nearly 20 years 